How you doing? That's good. Well, I am super excited to be doing the special effects makeup today. I think we're going to turn you into a zombie or some kind of ugly monster. So, I need to ask you though, are you you allergic to latex or do you have any allergies or sensitivities to any kind of latex products? Good, that's good because we're going to be using a lot of liquid latex today as well as some uh, plastic appliances and rubber appliances today so that's good to know. Well, let's jump right in. The first thing that we're going to do today is apply a bald cap. And this is going to get your hair out of your face. And it's also going to secure your hair for your wig whenever you go to the hair department. So, the first step in applying a bald cap is for me to brush your hair back. So if you'll just hold really still, I'm gonna brush it back and we will secure it. I'm gonna put a little bobby pin right here. for me. You're doing a great job already. How does that feel? Is it good? Okay, great. And I'm going to pin it right here. And right here as well. Okay. I think that looks good. Okay, so I see a little bit of excess from that cap, so I'm going to trim it just a little bit, right there. There's also some on this side over here. That's better. Okay. So next, we're going to cover your eyebrows so that I can apply cream makeup over a smooth surface where your eyebrow used to be. To do this, we're going to use eyebrow wax. I am going to scoop it out with a spatula. And smooth it down over your brow, and then we're going to use a special adhesive called Spirit Gum, and this is going to help it stay, and it's also going to dry really quickly and allow us to move forward with our makeup application. Do you have any questions about it? Okay. So first, I'm going to take this spoolie. And I'm going to brush down your eyebrows. Perfect. You've got a great eyebrow shape, by the way. <laughs> okay. And now, I'm going to grab some of the wax. Just like that. And let's smooth it over your brow. Right there and right there. Okay. I'm 
make sure I got it straight here. All right. That's looking great. Now we're going to take the spirit gum. And apply it. So the next step is to apply a barrier spray. Now the point of the barrier spray is just to protect your skin from all of the products that we're going to use today. It's also going to make these prosthetic appliances a whole lot easier to remove in the end. Alright? So I'm going to cover your eyes gently. Okay, now you're nice and protected. Let's just air it off a little. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to use what's called a chroma cake. This chroma cake is just a white face makeup, it comes in powder form but I'm going to wear it wet. I'm going to spray it with water and then it's going to turn into a paste that I can use to transform you into a monster. <laughs> so Okay. I'm going to use a tiny little cotton ball. And we're going to dab it on right there. going to be so cool. And let's get up here on your forehead and down on to your cheek and your chin right there. Perfect. And now, I'm going to use a paint stick. As the name implies, it's a stick made of paint. This is a black grease paint. I'm going to use a tiny little mesh sponge to apply. Okay. Same concept. I'm going to use the black to smooth it into the white paint. And it's going to create a graying effect on your skin. So now we're going to create some wounds on your skin. We're going to use a few different products to achieve this. The first one is going to be the Professional Palette by Ben Nye. It's got several different shades that I can use to create effects on the skin. I'm also going to use some Scar Effect Gel. helps me to build up on the skin 
to give the effect of cuts or risen wounds on the skin. Same goes for the liquid latex. This is just going to build up really ugly scar tissue on your face. It's kind of a cool effect, really. And of course, I'm going to use the Q-tips. These are going to help me to apply all of these products. It's also going to help me to get a good shape and to move around the liquid latex to allow it to cool off. So, first things first, I'm going to apply some of the latex. I'm going to make a gnarly wound over here, right on the side of your face. I'm going to build it up just a little bit. If the latex is warm, don't worry, because it will cool off. And once it cools, it will be a lot more comfortable for you. So now that we have the wounds built up on your face, I'm going to use the Ben Nye Burns and Blisters palette along with the professional color palette and I'm going to replicate a real wound on your face. I'm going to add a little red. And this is going to make it look realistic. Also, a little black in the center. This makes it look like a blister. That's perfect. And down on your chin also. You look like you're getting tired while I'm doing this. <laughs> Just continue to work while you relax. And now I'm going to dip into this magenta color. And I'll add some dimension to these wounds. In here and also over here. Okay. Now, no monster will be complete without stage blood. <laughs> so, I'm going to apply a little few drops just to make the wounds look fresh and also make them look realistic. As you can see, it really has the appearance of real blood. So I'm also going to dip my Q-tip in there. And we're going to apply a little blood. Right over where we just went. 
and of course on the other side as well it's looking so cool right now <laughs> you still feeling sleepy? <laughs> I tend to really have that effect on people I don't know I just make people sleepy I think Maybe I'm boring, I don't know. <laughs> okay. So now, we are going to use some clear setting powder and a powder puff. And I'm going to set my work so that it stays put. way it will last long for you. I take the powder puff and I work the powder into it like so. Now I'm going to set it. And now, I'm going to take a large powder brush and I'm going to brush away all of the excess powder. Just like that. set it with lock and load setting spray if you'll just close your eyes for me that looks really scary so I think that we are done here <laughs> I know that was easy right I think they are waiting for you in hair so I'm going to let you get on over to the hair department and I will see you soon um, for part two, okay? Alright, it was so good to work on you today. Bye-bye.